Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another StatPro Connect Edition tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to perform a direct analysis. So direct analysis and special uh, analysis and then can uh, consider the nonlinear geometry of uh, structure which mostly we call it uh, uh, second order analysis or nonlinear analysis. Uh, I will not uh, uh, give some uh, more detail, just uh, check uh, AISC uh, 316 and maybe it's chapter chapter 7 uh, section C, D uh, there is some uh, examples and also some uh, introduction on, on this analysis so, um, but and here just we will uh, jump to the start pro connect edition and we uh, model a structure and applying some uh, applying some uh, uh, gravity loops and also uh, some uh, uh, seismic load. Uh, seismic load. So the seismic load we will apply it as a node load in FEX uh, list uh, be uh, a uniform to the five studies uh, by uh, list B. 50 kilonewton 50 kilonewton and we will add a dead load of uh, 10 kilonewton per meter uh, on the uh, beam elements um, so we jump to the stock pro connect edition we create a name we call it direct analysis and uh, using uh, an article model and uh, for the sample city just we create a wizard uh, structures and selecting frame and a 2d and this is zero and this is zero and this should be three and five is two h three has uh, three meters of height so this is very simple and next uh, I'm gonna create a, a brassing system as well uh, a brassing system as well so I'm gonna select these uh, beams and uh, here I'm gonna go to uh, add node uh, let me call the insert node and I can uh, insert in the midpoint of these beams so then I can add some beam and uh, selecting this point and uh, this point to this point so I can again select uh, right click and cursor to beam uh, select this uh, to beam and duplicate or replicate this one to the uh, Y by uh, 4 so each Spacing, step spacing is three meter. So now we have the structure, and we're going to define properties, defining some uh, section from the database. We're using uh, uh, W ten sixteen and uh, W ten sixteen. Uh, this is ten uh, sixteen. I'm going to add for the column and W. Uh, Eight, uh, eight forty for the beam, and the last one is uh, let's be uh, five uh, sixteen uh, five sixteen for the brassing. Now I can uh, first select the, this one and go to the select command, and uh, from beam I can select uh, vertical members with uh, uniformly columns. So sign and the second is uh, come to the W814 and I wanna select uh, sorry is X and applying uh, or assigning this section. Now uh, I select uh, the W516 and assigning to the assigning to the browsing. I'm gonna select. Uh, I can go to one of the view this front view. Can select like this the 
so now uh, the graph are selected uh, I'm gonna sign uh, we can see in a rendering so this this is the structure uh, just a 2d now uh, we go to the uh, material uh, this is uh, let me assign the steel uh, 50k side to the view and we change the the steel uh, properties and we also can uh, define the support let's uh, create a fixed support and selecting the support and assign based on the cursor and now they are assigned now uh, we uh, should define the loading uh, in the loading Uh, the first uh, comes to the definition here is called the uh, direct analysis definition. So you come here Here is some parameters uh, That you should define this called flash rule parameters flash rule parameter uh, So this parameter uh, in case if it's a one so that means the flash rule stiffness member contribute uh, 100% and the second parameter is actual parameter. So in this case I will give one and then I will apply this to the uh, those member which contribute to the flash stiffness of the structure and the second is uh, actual parameters which is the column contribute to the flash or stiffness of the structure so I'm gonna select this one and first uh, assigning this to the uh, this lateral member assign assigned to a selected beam and the last one is going to be assigned to the columns which are actual member assigned to the selected and now in the first step is done and the second is I'm going to define some load cases and here I want to uh, define some dead load I can call it uh, DL and adding the second is going to be a live load and the last one I'm going to add some uh, seismic load I you can call it just uh, this is uh, 2d elements so I'm gonna just give horizontal load so I'm called uh, uh, seismic seismic load now uh, we have uh, defined this load case I'm gonna assign this the first uh, let me add uh, as a self loot and also uh, we have a member loot of uh, minus five kilo uh, five kilonewton per meters uh, here we have defined 10 and so we assume that the loot 5 is uh, uh, at least the live loot be Newtons parameters and the uh, loop should be 10, 10, 10. Okay, that we had 10 minus 10. And in the second uh, live loop, we also add in a member loop is minus 10 in the global z uh, y direction. So now assign the self loop to the entire members and the dead loot is going to select here uh, x and assigning to the members so again we come back to the live loot assigning the same member now the last one is seismic loot i'm going to add uh, so i assume we have a plot we want to apply a uniform loot from the these nodes in one direction y so we're going to call node load and i can give a 50 kilonewtons so i can and this one i'm gonna select here yeah, node and i select this node and i'm gonna call the assign to select a node now the horizontal load or seismic load is also applied uh, i should say that uh, that in case uh, the uh, brass connection is uh, hinge 
or uh, ping so then we can add some uh, release or release uh, and in, in in other way other in case of fixed or uh, rigid connection so we can keep it as it is uh, so we can also consider some uh, uh, loot uh, combination to design and we can come to that auto uh, combination and I select AIAC 9 edition and we have 2-3 uh, usually using LRFD and OSD so the direct analysis can support both uh, design procedure and I should uh, giving LRFD method so the selected starting combination number is become 4 because we already have 3 and we want to generate this so program automatically will calculate it and add and you can see this is loot 3 in it. it's put, putting a negative in this direction and nil this combination now uh, we are in the analysis we go to the analysis and in the analysis command here is called perform direct analysis so here is you can consider the LRFD, AST as you wish and you also can the print option anything you want but here is two things is called tau tau is the tau tolerance is in case if I don't give anything here this will call 0 point, uh, 0 0.01 which equals 0 0.1 and the displacement is uh, also the same tolerance and uh, the number of iteration is uh, one in this case we also can ex uh, uh, extend to two and p delta iteration is 15 so this is and you also consider the uh, flexural stiffness which is ei you can reduce or you can perform town iteration or you can check both so now you're considering all and then go add now uh, we have uh, Perform the analysis in case we want to design with this uh, analysis. I come back to here and 16. I can I can select this one and defining some parameters. Let me select all these parameters and I want to define command. I'm going to just add a check code to see how uh, the structure. Uh, the structure response and how the element is passed based on the giving design code or not it's been assigned to the view okay now in the same time we will consider uh, designing and designing and also analysis okay and here sign Now uh, we can run the analysis and hit the report to save and it's start to run. So the analysis is quite fast and it's finished and we can go to the uh, view output uh, to see how it responds. So this is the parameters and uh, the parameter list could remember one and with this uh, data it's passed and there is no any element that should be failed so all the element is passed so this is the design uh, procedure analysis we also can go to the post processing and we can apply and we can we can see some results so this is the uh, last combination and we can go to the uh, load uh, cases and i'm going to result to enable automatic everything and you can and you can see that result in case if you want to see the uh, maximum displacement in this node based on any combination and you can or even you can open the uh, seismic load and you can see the displacement so maximum in x is uh, 7.5 so like this you can conduct analysis and also 
uh, make a comparison in case if you go to the analysis let me go to analytical model and when you perform uh, uh, this analysis so I rerun so it's okay then and uh, in the uh, analysis command when you say preform analysis this is uh, linear elastic analysis so this is performed direct uh, analysis uh, non-linear analysis because here is you can see p delta it's a non-linear geometry analysis it's also non-linear which uh, has some difference we will discuss on the later we also perform cable and cable analysis later and for sure what is already done backlink analysis we will see later uh, so you like this you can perform and define the those parameters for the further uh, understanding you can check uh, the giving reference especially this reference chapter 7 and also there is some uh, FEMA giving some uh, uh, sort of information and resources there as well so thank you for watching if you have any question please put in the comment never find time to answer you see you next time